let's move on to the next team in the AFC North, and that is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Their draft needs similar to the Bengals. They need a guard. The Bengals didn't need a wide receiver, but they need a wide receiver, and they also need a quarterback, and that's kind of where I, I just I, – I don't – I know we have our players of interest and stuff like that here, but I just want to get this question out of the way. Should the Pittsburgh Steelers draft a quarterback in round one? AJ, Aaron, Dylan, you guys can, this is a jump ball slam dunk at home. First one to get it wins. I'd say no. There it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hell no. <laughs> no, no, no. First of all, I say no. He doesn't get to say no. He, no, he okay. can't say no. Oh. Oh, his oh, answer oh, oh. has to be yes, because he refuses to say the name of their quarterback that's yep. currently on their <laughs> roster. <laughs> and that, now he's going to say they to don't do need Vinny? one. Where did that come from, Vinny? No, nope. where did that don't come from? Hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't care. I don't care. If you refuse to say the quarterback's name that you won't right, even. So, you, he's so trash. Right, so you have let to you go then. Before I let you go, then, Vinny, I need us to go back to when we were giving grades and you need to take that A off of the Raiders because you won't say that wide receiver's name. Uh, Mr. You know Devonte Adams, you won't say that because he burned well, you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Are you hold comparing Devonte Adams to Mitchell Trubisky? No, oh I'm, I'm taking your hold words on. where you hold said on, if I won't say his name, I can't even I can't even lobby in his favor. Time so out. Neither can. Time out. <laughs> hold on. Time out. Uh, yeah. I just wanted the record to be shown that I probably, I think I messed up my AFC West graphics. So I don't even know <laughs> if I had them at an A or not because it was a messed up graphic on the show. We cannot oh. confirm or deny that I gave them an A, but I get where you're coming from. I get where Aaron's coming from. <laughs> Dylan, settle it. Do they need to uh, take a quarterback in round one? No, they're all right. They're all right. Who, sh um, Mitchell who, sh Trubisky who should they go with then? Who should they go with? Well, my mind just happens to come in the second round, host. So I'm going to look in the second round for my pick. Um, and, and it's not a first round pick. I'm going back to the cornerback position. I'm sorry, but it's got to be Darion Kendrick. Cornerback out of Georgia. And i tell you what about Darion Kendrick. I saw a lot of dogs games this year. I saw a lot of Georgia Bulldogs SEC football. And Darion Kendrick, four picks last year. I know they have Cam Sutton. I know they have Levi Wallace. He doesn't have to start on day one. This Georgia defense was fantastic last year. Um, they, they played fantastic down the stretch. But he, he doesn't have to start on day one. He's someone that can come in, groom a little bit. They lose Joe Hayden. They did draft a Justin Lane kid out of Michigan State a few years ago, and he's been ah, eh, and he's still buried on their depth chart. I think Kendrick is someone you could really look at as a second-round pick. Um, someone there, he, he does have a weakness. Uh, if you're looking at it, he was arrested on drug and gun charges. So he has a little bit of off the field issues, but don't worry. Mike Tomlin will get him situated. Bring him to Pittsburgh. Second round pick with a first round value right there with Darion Kendrick. It's not a bad pick. I, I, it's no, it's not a bad nice. pick. Yeah, that is a good pick. And I also, I went the same route uh, as Dylan, and I'll just tag on, tag on uh, what he just said. I went with my with a second round pick as well for the for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the reason I went with this player is pretty much what Matt Jenkins just said here. Trubisky means you are a run first team, and if you are a run first team, you are going to be giving the ball to Najee Harris. And if you are going to be giving the ball to Najee Harris, you need a mauler like Darian Kennard. The uh, he is he played at he played tackle for Kentucky, but he he actually played both and he wasn't that bad at either one of them when he played. He can play guard, he can play tackle, and I think that they need to move him to the guard spot. Uh, and I think he's going to be the perfect fit for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He had the uh, highest rated PFF score since 2020, higher than Evan Neal. He was first last year, fourth in 2020, sixth in 2019. This guy fits exactly what Pittsburgh needs to do. And that is put the ball on the ground, put the ball in the hands of Najee Harris and just absolutely pound the rock. And you can do that behind a Darian Kennard. Yeah. You, you mentioned moving him to guard. I think that's a good, uh, that's a good assessment. Sometimes he has trouble against some speed I, guys. Cause he's, I don't think he can play tackle. Much. Um, yeah, in the NFL, I, it's going to you know, be hard against those pass rushers to 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 play that position the way his leverage is. Is he's a bigger guy, but he also tends to get out in front a little bit too much, and those speed guys can get by him. So I like the move to guard there. That was one of the that was one of the things that I really had a hard time doing with, like deciding on whether or not I wanted him in this spot for Pittsburgh because I was like, oh, because on the surface they might say tackle for him, but the, the, I don't I, I don't want him to be a tackle. I don't think he is best fit 
at the tackle position. And I think it's perfect for Pittsburgh because they need a guard and they can go out and switch him and it'll be a seamless transition and he fits exactly what they need. AJ, you're next, sir. Glad you went there. I'm also glad you asked the quarterback position because the fact that everyone was talking about quarterback for Pittsburgh is part of the reason that I made the pay, the pick I did in the first round at pick 20. And I also went with a tackle, and that's going to be Trevor Penning out of Northern Iowa. This guy is a mauler, just huge, big, and nasty. He His whole life is to be physical. He doesn't stop on plays. He doesn't cheat the game. If he gets his hands on you, he's more than likely not stopping until you're on the ground. If you watch him at the Senior Bowl, he was getting in everybody's mind because he was just talking trash. He was pushing them all over the field. He's physical. He runs well. He's strong as an ox. This guy, he he kind of embodies Pittsburgh to me. The type of nastiness that was the steel curtain. Who's to say you can't have a little bit of that on the offensive side of the ball? And as we were talking about, we saw what they did with Najee Harris. As you alluded to, they want to run the ball. As Matt Jenkins in our, in our uh, chat alluded to, it's a run team. And we talked about this last season. They didn't have a line. If you were going to use a, stat, a stop gap quarterback like Mitch Trubisky, you might as well put all the requisite pieces around him so that you can keep your winning season, but then also have something ready for whoever the heir apparent is if you draft next year or the year after. I really like Trevor Penning. He's going in this area. Whoever gets him, they're getting a solid, solid day one type guy. They need all. I, I think the best. Ooh. I think the best. It's, no, it's, it's a good pick. I think the best point you had there, and it, it really it ties into to both of our picks this year, is you you have Mitch Trubisky as your quarterback now. Obviously, you had a statue of Big Ben last year. <laughs> you don't want a repeat of last year. You need to go out and address right. that offensive line. And we were talking about all last season. I mean, you even, Aaron, you went on record here and just absolutely destroyed the Pittsburgh Steelers back in November or December saying that they were a terrible team. And uh, really, one of those big things was because of the offensive line. So, uh there, there you go. Aaron, who do you have? Uh, who do you think the Pittsburgh Steelers need to be taking in this draft? Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys pretty much covered the offensive line woes that I, I felt like they had all of last year. They went out and got a, a couple of additions this year and Mason Cole and some others in offseason. So I like where they're going with that. I like the idea of them taking one in the second round or even the first round this year. For me, I was looking late. I was looking a little bit later for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I went deep into the third round and the loss of James Washington, the loss of a Ray Ray McLeod, leaves, loss of Juju Smith-Schuster, leaves a void at the wide receiver position. And I think a guy that would fit in nicely there with Deontay and Claypool is your, ho your, your homer team, uh, Mr. John Mechie. Uh, I just think John Mechie is the type of guy that would fit what Pittsburgh's trying to do. You can get him the ball early. He gets some good run after the catch. Um, he has good hands, good balance. His route running is really, really – he does a really good job of running precise routes. Um, you worry about his size, right? You worry about how big he is and can he play that physical style? So I say you put him in the slot. You got a bigger guy in Claypool. You got a, a playmaker on the outside in Deontay Johnson. Um, he's not going to go up and make contested catches, but he can play that slot receiver. He can go out and fill space, uh, find holes in zones, and then run after the catch. And I think Pittsburgh has always done a really good job of drafting wide receivers, especially late. Um, and I think John Mechie would be a nice fit there. That that is I I've I've liked Mechie a lot. I thought he obviously he he's got some injury injury concerns. He's a smaller guy, and I see him just going farther and farther down draft boards. And I'm like, man, he would be a just so, a solid. He would be a steal. I have I, I have a I forgot to mention my comp on the first one, but I do I did do comparisons like my NFL comp and what I see from him. He reminds me a lot of Emmanuel Sanders. So I, I think he can come out and do what Emmanuel Sanders kind of did for Pittsburgh early and then in Denver. Like, I think he has that type of potential. Not He's not going to be a top flight elite wide receiver in the NFL, but I do think he could be a guy like Emmanuel Sanders.